As we continue to celebrate Hispanic leaders in our community, we turn out to two women who head both our city and our county, Corpus Christi Mayor Paulette Guajardo and Nueces County Judge Barbara Canales. Our Taylor Alaniz has more on their roots and what Hispanic Heritage Month means to them. We are over 60% of Hispanic heritage. Um, this community is predominantly Hispanic. And so that's why it's important. Born and raised in Corpus Christi, Mayor Paulette Guajardo says she's deeply rooted in Hispanic culture, learning much from her Mexicana mom. She made sacrifices. She uh, educated herself. She instilled hard work equal success in, in, in all of us. Also teaching her the importance of being bilingual, embracing tradiciones y familia. Every culture should embrace who they are, where they came from, uh, their history and their roots. Guajardo says those values helped her earn a business degree, become a city councilwoman and eventually mayor. Ingredients for success also instilled in West's County Judge Barbara Canales, who comes from a long line of Hispanic leaders herself, her office showcasing her passion for her roots. You don't have to look far to find role models. I had so many growing up. I was very blessed. Her grandmother, Dr. Clotilde Cleo Garcia, a historian and physician. She wrote books on Texas uh, Mexican history. She also um, really taught me at a very young age how the importance of speaking Spanish. Her great uncle, civil rights activist and American GI Forum founder, Dr. Hector P. Garcia. My father is the first Hispanic United States attorney. Learning from her heroes, Canales, a UT engineering grad, then went off to law school, becoming a successful businesswoman, port commissioner, and then county judge in 2018. If I am the first <laughs> Latin, or Hispanic judge in 2021. That sure did take a long time. Although overcoming many obstacles, Canales says Latinos and Hispanics still have a ways to go. We don't look at first anymore. That's when you know you've made it, when you are looking at the hundredth and it just seems more commonplace. Taylor Alanis, Chris Six News.